If you edit other people's drawings and you've probably found yourself frustrated on occasion when you've needed to edit a hatch boundary, only to find out that the hatch was non-associative. A non-associative hatch pattern is pretty much impossible to edit. In fact, you probably ended up erasing it and doing it all over again, right? Let's take a look at how AutoCAD 2010 has improved on this process. So you'll notice on my screen that I happen to have a hatch pattern, and I happen to know it's non-associative, but I sure wish that it could fill in this boundary over here, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and select my non-associative hatch pattern, and you'll see, look at, look at all the grips that have showed up. Thanks to AutoCAD 2010, I now have plenty of grips that I can use to edit my boundary, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and grab just a couple of these grips, pull them out, I'm all happy didn't have to erase it and start all over again, which is always a really good thing. And I hear all the time when I travel about people who waste a lot of time dealing with non-associative hatch patterns. All right, so that was one new feature inside of AutoCAD 2010. Let me show you this other one, which I think I even like a little bit more. So here I have a boundary, clearly has a gap in it. Um, I'm gonna go to hatch it. It's probably gonna tell me that it doesn't like that because of the hole, right? So let's go ahead and let's take a look. I'm gonna go into the B hatch command. I'm gonna go grab an internal point and sure enough, it still tells me it's not gonna hatch it because there's a big gap, but I love the fact that there are two great big red circles that show me where the hole is in my boundary. That is huge. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of the B hatch command here. I want you to notice the circles are still on the screen, which is really handy because if I happen to have the gap so that it was off the screen when I did the hatch, I wouldn't know where the circles were, right? So the circles will stay there when you're done, makes it easy for you to correct it. I promise you that the circles won't stay forever. They will go away once you do a redraw or a regen. Now, if you've ever done the zoom game with crosshatch patterns, with boundaries, where you've tried to go in and find where the hole was in the boundary, you will definitely appreciate this new feature inside of AutoCAD 2010.